Yesterday's NBA game was remarkably good. It was the first overtime in a playoffs game in a quite a long time. Now, the game I am speaking about is the Western Conference Finals between the San Antonio Spurs and Oklahoma City Thunder teams. I am a noob at basketball, but a lot of interesting things in terms of this game. My bro was rooting for OKC. Thinks that they should get the win. Spurs had their chances, of course. They've had their victories, especially in finals games. Me, personally, I was entertained by this game. Schlag Daddy from the Off the Rope show often says that Western Conference teams are more athletic and thus more entertaining than the majority of Eastern Conference teams. And I understand what he's talking about when I see something like this. There was a lot more athleticism in this game. In terms of whose performance was more interesting for me, I like the Spurs style a little bit more. In the sense that there's more three-point shots. Those are always cool because they're difficult and I like three-point shooters like Novak from the Knicks when I see a three-point shot that's that's always nice for me it's always a nice sight seeing who can shoot the ball into a basket from how far those kinds of athletic feats and also the Spurs tends to pass more with Thunder, you get two ball hogs, Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant fighting for a ball. And you don't see a lot of that passing. You don't see a lot of that team playing. Which, for a team sport like basketball, if you're going to have a team, use the team. I mean, you have all these different players, and they all work different positions, and apparently they all have their own function. And yes, they guard different positions from time to time. Games change, strategies change. Or someone may have a fixed position for a team at a certain time. Not every game is the same. Not every game is static. But still, that shit can get a bit dull sometimes. That's why I was kind of rooting for the Spurs, even though towards the end, my inner bandwagoner and my inner underdog Mark was rooting for Thunder. Not for long. Not for long. Once... It was established that they would have an overtime. That's when that mark kind of fell away from me. But I like how I'm using wrestling terminology when I'm talking about this shit. But besides that, I like the guy with the bald spot, Manu Ginobili. Because he shoots a lot of three-pointers. That's my only rubric for what a good player is for me, or what an entertaining player is for me. In terms of Thunder, I like Russell Westbrook because he's funny on interviews and because he looks like Daffy Duck. That's all I gotta say. Western Conference guys are usually more athletic, more entertaining to look at even though I, my heart is in the East, and that's what I'm going to represent all the time, forevermore. But if Thunder would have won this, then 
we would have had a tie-breaking game. Because this is a best out of seven game. Who can win four games out of seven? And they were three to two when this game started. And ended with the Spurs getting the final victory. It became four to two. So that means that we're going to see a rematch between the Spurs and Miami Heat for June. Just like last year's NBA Finals game. Which I wasn't that into. I never even saw the final confrontation between two of them. Didn't get to watch. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. But now, because I'm more appreciative of Spurs and the fact that I kind of like Miami Heat in a way, because they kind of remind me of a soccer team. And while I don't like soccer, I like the idea that a basketball team plays like a soccer team, where you get these fit guys, and they're a little slower, and they kind of fake injuries more, they're a little soft. I like that. Also, he has a lot of great all-around players, and we usually talk about Bosch, Dwayne Wade, and LeBron, but there's also Birdman. Also, is Ray Allen still there? I don't know. But yeah, I can't wait to see that bullshit. I'm probably not going to see that bullshit. What the fuck am I talking about? It's Mr. Rock 7. Suck my dick. For real.